Well, new details today about the man accused of attacking a woman in a parking lot at a Publix near Stewart. This is near the Port Salerno area and then taking off with her car. We are told this man right here, Carlos Manuel Lozada, had just left a local drug and alcohol rehab facility. Detectives say he then walked out of a rehab, hopped in an Uber and exited at the Publix on Cove Road. And that's where the alleged attack took place. And that's where we find our CBS 12 News reporter, Al Pefley, who tells us that there are many ways to protect yourself so that you don't become a victim. Al. Lily, a woman who works at this Publix was walking through the parking lot last Thursday afternoon around 3.30 when suddenly a man attacked her. In a few seconds, he got her keys and he stole her SUV. It is scary. Um, me personally, I take my safety in my own hands, uh, meaning I, I come armed. Um, I think it's what most of us have to do nowadays. So I want to take care of myself. It happened in broad daylight in a Publix parking lot. Sheriff's officials say 37 year old Carlos Manuel Lozada of New York had just gotten out of a drug and alcohol rehab center before he attacked a woman outside the Publix, pushed her and violently grabbed her keys and sped away in her black SUV. Deputies spotted the SUV a short time later. He fled, but they eventually got him. The victim was traumatized, but not physically injured. I think we all should be caring. You know, I think we have the right to do that. We need to protect ourselves. And, uh, you know, this is kind of like a wake-up call that this, this stuff is happening here. Okay. Why do you think that's important to have a handgun? Because everybody else does. It's sad, really. It's, it's sad that it happened here. It's kind of scary, really. If it happened to one woman outside a supermarket on a weekday afternoon in a parking lot with other people nearby, who knows? It might happen again. You're at Publix in the middle of daytime. You think crimes happen in the middle of night. In intuitively, you think that. Never let your guard down. Always pay attention to what's going on around you. We asked Martin County Sheriff-elect John Budenseek what you can do to stay safe. Always pay attention to what's going on around you. Target glance, look around, let people know that you're looking at them. Carry your belongings, purses especially for ladies tucked up against your arm, your keys tightly in your hand or in your pocket. Don't just walk nonchalantly and make yourself a soft moving target. Lozada remains hospitalized at St. Mary's Medical Center in West Palm Beach. Budenseek says he is in stable condition. Once he gets out of the hospital, he'll be taken to the Martin County Jail and he'll be charged with several felonies, including strong arm robbery, aggravated fleeing and eluding, and grand theft auto. Live near Stewart, Al Pefley, CBS 12 News. Al also tells us this isn't Lozada's first run in with the law. He had been arrested for burglary, fraud, and credit card theft in the state of Florida. Also, he has allegations in the state of New York that include drug related charges, DUI, and grand larceny. I'm Jim Grimes. Click like and subscribe buttons if you want to see more stories like this that impact you.